Hello everybody and welcome back to Fable. Last video we were in Darkwood and we finished the second of the two optional side quests that were available and now we are going to dedicate an entire episode to this new area which is the Darkwood Bordello. So interestingly enough we don't know what this place is but we are about to find out. A hero. Oh, I've long prayed someone from the guild would come and... But I'm forgetting my manners. My name is Madame Minch. Welcome to the famous Darkwood Bordello. Please, walk with me. Whoa. <coughs> That's interesting. As you can see, the Bordello is a haven of calm and pleasure in a perilous world. Weapons and spells are forbidden here. Men have come here for centuries to escape their worries and responsibilities. But, well, we've got problems of our own. Mr. Grobe, the current owner, he's what you might call a cruel, sadistic, self-absorbed despot. He treats the girls like slaves, little better than animals. Most of them have nowhere else to go, of course. If only we could find the Bordello Deeds. But I'm sure you don't want to hear all this. Please, enjoy your stay. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Bordello. Uh, the brothel, the whorehouse of Albion. Yeehaw! Okay, well maybe I shouldn't be too excited. I don't really know if, if I'd be excited for that because eh, it's a questionable place to be. Anywho, uh, there are many a lovely lady to choose from in this area and it is also a little bit of a side quest so I'll probably spend an entire video here just doing a few things. So this is Madame Minch, we already met her. And this is the owner Mr. Grope and Grope is the most hilarious name to have if you're in charge of a whorehouse. And these here ladies belong to me. We have the finest entertainers in all Albion and cater to a wide variety of uh, <laughs> specialist tastes. <laughs> so long as you've got the gold, you can sample as many wares as you like. And if any of them cause trouble, you be sure to let me know. One last thing. Watch out for old Madame over there. She's after the deeds to this place, and she'll try any dirty trick to get them. Oh, her massive red hair used to drive me wild when she was younger. But she's got all the sex appeal of a dead pig these days. I agree. So instead of making me spill my secrets in the bed, she's been trying to get me drunk. I nearly fell for it once, but she won't catch me again. I'm the boss, and that's the way it stays. But listen to me, prattling on. <laughs> These are my problems, yes. <laughs> go on, go, 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 go. Enjoy yourself, sir. Alright, so that sheds light on the problems of this area. I think before we solve any of those problems, we uh, take a little bit of, uh, you know, samples of you know, his quote-unquote wares. So what I'll do is I'll go through all the ladies, uh, cheapest to most expensive. Uh, each of them comes with their own set of dialogue. It's not the generic set that you get with any other woman in Albion, so it's kind of interesting in that way. First choice. Hello, love. I'm Polly. You used to call me pretty Polly, and now it's just Polly. A wild ride with me will only cost you 50 gold. Cheaper twice the price. What do you think? So, Polly is the cheapest of the ladies, <laughs> given her age and her looks, I would assume that is why. Come along with me then, love. Don't be scared. Ugh. I'm a little afraid. I feel bad for putting our hero through this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I truly am. All paid up, I hope. Well, go ahead then. We've only got one bed, you know. A whorehouse with one bed? It's kind of strange to me, but whatever. Watch what you're doing! You don't want to break anything, do you? 
now. Watch what you're doing. It cracks me up. Oh, yes, sir. Polly's still got it. Right, love? Oh, uh, some of these women's dialogue just crack me right up. They're hilarious. Um, well, now that I've slept with the lady, I have access to this area over here where the guard is. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through this drawer. And I'm going to take a redhead wig. That'll come in handy for later. I think he, he might charge me for it. I'm not too sure. But uh, sometimes I get charged, sometimes I don't. Either way, I need to pick that up. Alright, so she was 50 gold. Uh, next lady on the list. Is this actually very ordinary, but very beautiful girl? Well, hello there, hero. My name is Amelia. And I think I know exactly what you're looking for. Alright. All I need is the chance to show you. So like I said, Amelia is 100 gold, and she she's fairly average, but... Don't worry. You'll see I'm worth every one of those 100 gold pieces. We'll see what she's capable of. And then, of course, it skips past that initial cutscene with the guard after you slept with one of them. Oh, that feels good. Mmm, hero. What are you... Oh! You look like you enjoyed that. Anytime you want a second taste, come and find me. Alright, well, thank goodness we don't have to worry about STDs in this game. We can get jiggy and not have to worry about it. I was so tempted to just put like Barry White over this entire episode and just kind of speed it up, but I didn't. Uh, I think the next one is this woman here. Welcome, hero. I am Lucretia. If you are looking for something a little more exotic, you will find what you seek with me. Do I see a flicker of interest? Oh yes, and she's 200, so she's next up. You made the right decision. I just hope you can keep up with me. Oh, baby. Mmm, that's the way. Just a little further. Over there. I have never serviced a hero before. It was... interesting. She does not sound amused at all. And I don't blame her, being as how I think our hero's had sex like three times and he's like 45. I, I probably wouldn't be too impressed either. Alright, so that is three out of six, I think, or maybe five. Uh, next up is this one here. Well met, sir. I am Lady Sophia. I am here to entertain our more upmarket clients. She reminds me a little bit of Lady Grey. I am not inexpensive, but you will find me most uncommon. I am the best. Alright, and it it steps you up to a whopping 1,000 gold. But let's go ahead and do it. You'll be treated like a hero deserves to be. Come this way, sir. How pleasant and polite you are, Lady Sophia. Ooh, so this is what a hero feels like. I'm going to wrap myself around you like a velvet robe. Mmm, that's good. You're not like the usual riffraff we get in here. You may see me again. Not with those prices, lady. Alright, we've got one more lady, and she's by far the most interesting if you're into uh, this type of girl. Me, Mistress Hedvig, your little puny man. Do what Hedvig say. But first, you pay Hedvig 2,000 gold, yeah? Uh, I'm a little afraid with her, but you can rough it up with Mistress Hedwig. This way, puny worm. So yeah, if you're into S&M or bondage, then I guess Lady Hedwig or Mistress Hedwig would be good for you. You no stop until Hedwig say stop. You call yourself men? This not good enough! On knees, now, me want to see you beg. Hedwig pleased with puny man. <laughs> this is good thing. <clears throat> so, yeah, that was, that was Mistress Hedwig, and as you'll notice, she has a completely different, uh, I guess, bed. More, more or less an area than anything else. So that is all the ladies uh, that can service you. You can choose any one of them you want at any, you know, given time. You can go back and you can sleep with Amelia, you know, 50 times or, you know, whatever. Or 
Whatever you choose. But now that we've done that, I think we can talk to uh, the Miss, the Madam again. And you are. <gasps> it's you. Oh, my eyesight isn't what it used to be. I can't recognize my own girls half the time. She wants to say something. I'll see if she says it. We have a position for a young lady, if you know of any. Send her here in a pretty dress, and I'll talk to her. Aha, that's what I was waiting for. <clears throat> so, that's interesting. If we uh, put on a dress, we can actually work there, which uh, is an interesting feature. Now, it will change your sexuality if, um, if you decide to sleep with a man, but um, let's go ahead and put our dress on, as well as our wig, because what's really cool about this is as soon as you put on the wig, um, you don't just put on the wig, but you also put on makeup, I think, too. The art of prostitution is littered with an odd cornucopia of props. This is one of the, of the least insalubrious, insalier, well, I can't even pronounce that, insalubrious used to please top, carrot top fanciers. Alright, so let's put on that wig. And I got to take a little bit of a close-up of my hero's face here. Um, yeah, you can see, like, I have fake eyelashes and big hoop earrings and stuff like that, which is kind of interesting. Um, I still have the beard, though, which is a little uh, <laughs> questionable, but I think what we pass, so... Fancy giving yourself the handle, pilgrim. Hello there, young lady. We've got an opening for a pretty thing like you. Are you interested? Oh, man, her eyesight must be bad. Oh, well, let's do it. Would you like to become a working girl? Yes, I would. Well... My eyesight isn't too good these days, but you seem to match our requirements. Oh, wonderful. You can earn money by talking to the visitors. And I'm sure old Grope would like to sample you too. He always likes to play with the new girls. All right. So... Now, we don't have the choice to sleep with the girls. I do believe you can just talk to them. So let's go ahead and talk to them and see what they say. I really don't have time to talk to you. Old Grope doesn't like it when we're not earning. Aww, do you feel kind of bad for them? Old Grope might let his guard down with a new girl like you. He might speak if you seduce him, but you'll have to look right. And the girls will also give you hints if you're trying to do that little bit of a side quest too, I do believe. Boss not like Hedvig. Boss like you better. Yeah, you. I don't really like you either. You, you kind of freak me out. Uh, this girl, I think I'm talk to. You know, if you want to get information out of Grope, you don't need to sleep with him. Just get him drunk. Oh, that's good to know. We don't gotta <clears throat> offer ourselves to him. Look, love. This panel's mine. Get out of the way. <laughs> Her speech just makes me laugh. Hmm, well, you may be wearing a lovely dress, but the beard is a bit of a downer. Yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? Um, I don't know if I get him drunk enough if he'll sleep with me. And if not, then I'll just, uh, get this done the regular way. Although... I think I may have screwed it up. I think I need uh, to not be actually working in order to get the bartender to show up because I need to get him beer to get him drunk. Oh no, here's the bartender. Never mind. Ready to help? It looks like I can do this uh, either way I want to, so we'll try this out. I think it takes, I think about six beers to get him drunk, but we'll buy ten. And now that we have kind of gotten all the information out of the girls, you know, sampled each one, saw what this place is all about, we're going to do the side quest. Uh, we're going to get him drunk and see if he'll spill some secrets. Well, well, if you treat the customers as good as this, we're going to make big business. Alright, so I'm going to keep giving them some beers here. Ah, oh, another beer. Just what I wanted. And you can do this as a male or dressed up as a female. Uh, either way, you'll get the same results. You'll get what you want. It's just a matter of if you want to sleep with him or not. I personally don't care either way, so I'm just going to keep doing it the way I'm doing it. And another. Oh, you're the bestest whore ever, you are. 
Oh, thanks. You're so charming. <laughs> Ooh, how many is this? Four? Ooh, I haven't felt this good in years. Five beers, is, is, is it? You're, you're trying to get me drunk. Are you? No, I would never get you drunk. All right, I think the sixth of beer is the final straw for him. All right there, Pilgrim. Six? Might be Avo. I don't feel too well. Think I'm heading upstairs for a nap, my sugar plum. All right, there we go. That that does it. Six, and he's completely oh. gone out of it there. Oh, oh. oh it's you, boss. Everything all right? I, um, uh, uh, think I've had a few too many. Better get you to bed. Sleep it off. Can you manage him, hero? All right, then. In you go. Oh. Well, uh, no. Oh, no. You can steal the bordello from under my nose, do. Well. Oh. Well, you won't get far uh, without the deeds. Uh, well, and I've got those in the safe place. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, oh, no, I think I'm looking for them there. <laughs> well, I'm under the old tree down by the lake. Uh. <laughs> oh, my head. Must have drunk me a whole keg of ale. I just hope I wasn't talking in my sleep again. Alright, so I guess if I didn't have that beard, he would have slept with me and I wouldn't have, have had to give him beer, but whatever. Either way, we got what we wanted. The deeds are under the tree. Um, and if you do have the redhead wig, I think that makes it a lot easier. That's the reason I picked up the wig is because, he, like he said, he was, he was attracted to the madam, but she just got too old. So if you have the redhead wig, that pretty much looks exactly like her. He pretty much goes gaga over it. Uh, so it should be right around here. There we go. And here are the deeds. Ha ha. So... While I'm outside, I haven't really pointed out, but all of these uh, statues are all representations of the women that are in the house. So, uh, Silcana, the goddess of tender love, which would be Lady Sophia, I do believe. Um, let's see, there's, there's a few other ones out here, just kind of interesting. Uh, Lamenta, the goddess of painful love, which is obviously Mistress Hedwig. And I think there's a few other ones around here. It's, it's just kind of interesting that they that they put statues that are modeled after girls. I think you can also talk to the men around here as well. It's been an unforgettable experience. It really has. And each of them will say something different. I think I think the majority of them will tell you that you're like too ugly or too tall or something. And this statue here, um, Madame Minch, her fiery passion and fiery hair hath enchanted more men than the ma magics, m magics of all of Albion's witches, blah blah. Uh, apparently she was attractive once. So, you know what? I want to get this guy out of here, so let's give the deeds to her. You've got the deeds. Does that mean we're finally rid of old group? Oh, this is wonderful. What? Huh? How did you find it? It was perfectly hidden. This place meant everything to me. And now you've ruined it. Why, if you weren't quite such an imposing hero, I'd show you a thing or two. Well, I hope it rots and drops off. Ooh, nasty. Well, I suppose that makes you the new proprietor then. Okay, so now we own the whorehouse and we can sleep with these ladies for free. Uh, after you do that quest, you can sleep with any of them that you want, up to as many times as you want, but this time you can do it uh, for free. I'm actually going to stop the video here. As much as I want to fit this into one entire video, um, I do want to take a short break to actually go ahead and take advantage of that so that I can open up the demon door. But I will be coming back and showing off what happens when you do own um, the house, the, the bordello. Uh, 
in the next episode. So thank you so very much for watching this very, very, very lustful edition of Fable, and I hope that I'll see you all next time.